Hello, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today in this video, I will explain importance of baking soda to control the level of creatinine in a kidney failure patient. We all know kidney play important role in excreting all the waste from the body through urine. But kidney also maintain acid and base balance inside the body by excreting excessive acid from the body. That's why our urine is acidic in nature. But when the kidney function start deteriorating, the level of creatinine and urea increases in a body of a kidney failure patient. Along with creatinine and urea, acid is also accumulates in the blood, which results in acidic blood circulation in the whole body. Now this acid also reaches to the kidney and as the blood is acidic, it works as a catalyst in deterioration of kidney functions. Acidic blood damages nephrons, which results in rapid increase in the level of creatinine. So in a kidney failure patient, usually creatinine increases slowly from 1.5 to 4 milligram per deciliter. Usually it takes years to reach up to this level. But once the creatinine crosses the level of 4 milligram per deciliter, the value of creatinine changes in months and sometimes in days. This all happened because earlier only high BP and high sugar level was the main culprit for the kidney damage. Now along with high BP and sugar, metabolic acidosis comes along which deteriorates the health of kidney very very fast. Now the question arises what we can do to control this acid. The answer is we can't excrete this acid through urine as kidney are not functioning well but we can neutralize this acid with some opposite of acid and that is sodium bicarbonate also known as baking soda. Baking soda is very safe for consumption. We consume baking soda a lot in bakery items and in antacids. So now we have to consume this baking soda as tablet on daily basis to neutralize acid present in our blood. Bicarbonate ion present in the baking soda helps the body to maintain acid and base balance which results in slowing down of deterioration of the health of kidney. Generally, all kidney failure patients are advised to take sodium bicarbonate on a daily basis. But we have to check whether the amount of baking soda or sodium bicarbonate we are taking is sufficient or not. For that, whenever you give your blood for kidney function test, please request for serum bicarbonate test also. If the blood contains sufficient amount of bicarbonate in blood, there is no need to increase the amount of sodium bicarbonate. But if the level of bicarbonates comes low in your report, increase the amount as per the advice of your consultant. And in case you are not taking any form of sodium bicarbonate and your creatinine level are increasing, you must take second opinion before it's too late for that. Now along with the medicine to control metabolic acidosis, we have to change our diet also so that acid in the body can be controlled. For that, we advise all kidney failure patients to avoid all type of citric acidic food like oranges, kiwi, mango, grapes, vinegar, lemon, curd, buttermilk. As they all are acidic in nature, these food items promote metabolic acidosis in a kidney failure patient. Now, if you are interested in diet for a kidney failure patient, I advise you to watch my complete video on that topic. I will drop a link at the end of this video. But before that, I want to show you some reports of my patients. As you have seen clearly, there are changes in the level of creatinine and urea in a short period of time. This happens only when kidney failure patient works on the kidney functions. Now you must be thinking how function of the kidney can be improved, why I'm not getting these results. For that, I advise you to check your medical prescription. Take out your medical prescription, write down the purpose of each medicine on the side if you know. If you don't know about its function, simply Google it. I'm sure. After complete assessment, you will come to know that you are taking medicine for high BP, sugar, iron supplement, phosphorus binder, cholesterol, vitamin D, etc, etc. But not a single medicine to improve functions of kidney. Because only by improving GFR, one can bring down the level of creatinine down. 
that's why the level of creatinine kept increasing even after taking all kind of medicine as no medicine are available to improve gfr in allopathy but with the help of diet and kidney function resolution treatment which is a herb based treatment better result can be achieved in a short period of time you can watch my other videos on this channel to understand better about kidney failure condition i hope with this video of mine you have understand importance of baking soda also known as sodium bicarbonate and how we can improve gfr in a kidney failure patient with this allow me say goodbye see you in the next video till then take care